I entered my first ever game jam and made the game Mini Architect. It was an enjoyable experience, full of stress, lack of sleep, and a new kind of pressure I haven't felt since I was at uni. Wait, why did I do this again? So on the first weekend of October, I entered my first ever game jam, Ludum Diary 54. For those who don't know what Ludum Diary is, basically you get 48 hours to make an entire game based around a certain thing. And this is a consecutive 48 hours, not copping out by doing 48 hours spread over a month. This is hard mode. For this game jam, the theme was limited space. I had a bunch of ideas, but I settled on a game where you play as an architect drawing up house plans, but the house plans would have limited space to meet the demands of the picky clients. I felt like this was a unique idea that I could have a bit of fun with, but was also something quite doable for myself in the time frame. So I got to work. I started off with creating and destroying walls, which was surprisingly easy. Then I started working on the room calculation, which not only didn't go smoothly, but completely shattered my confidence. No matter how I tried to calculate the rooms, it just wasn't working. I tried linear sorting, creating sections and combining them, tracing walls, but it all failed. I spent hours on this and started panicking because if I couldn't get this to work, there would be no game. And finally, I had a surge of inspiration. I decided to use a modified version of the A-Star algorithm from my zombie tactics game, and it worked like a charm. Crisis averted. Next up was the ability to assign different themes to all the rooms, which was much easier now that rooms were nicely defined. As a simple test, I whipped up my first condition that clients could request, and then I went on to level loading, which reads a really dodgy string that I pass in, using another similar method from my other game. Honestly, the amount of base ideas that are shared between the two games is kind of crazy, and probably made my life a lot easier than I even realised. To wrap up day one, I mocked up all the UI that I wanted for the game, and went to bed, knowing all my main features were done. I woke up on day 2 tired, and with one less hour of sleep, because daylight savings decided to be inconvenient and move the clocks forward on the one night of the year I was already getting no sleep. Now, despite thinking I got all of the core content done yesterday, I was wrong. I forgot to finish off all the functionality of the UI I mocked up, and there was a lack of a timer or a score, so I quickly powered through to get all of that done. Then it was time for art. I made a bunch of icons for the rooms I wanted to have, and I made them grayscale so that they would inherit the relevant room colour when I applied it, which worked surprisingly well. Then I whipped up the remaining UI, including a sprite for buttons, a request board, custom cursors, a wood panel, etc. I am by no means an artist, and I've done very little pixel art in my life, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, but you can all let me know in the comments. With the help of Kenny's Creature Creator, I made a bunch of different clients and names that would be requesting the different rooms. Next on the list was audio. Now, I've never made my own audio before, but I'd seen Brackies use Bosca Sea Oil, so I decided to download that, and struggled immensely. For context, I'm incredibly tone deaf, but I somehow managed to fumble my way to a little tune that I didn't mind. And the early reviews are already giving good feedback on it, which is great to see. I wrapped up by adding a bunch more conditions for clients to request, a few new rooms, and submitted with just over an hour left on the clock. To say this was an intense experience would be an understatement, but I thoroughly enjoyed it nonetheless. Overall, I'm super happy with what I was able to make, especially for my first game jam, not knowing what to expect going into it. Thanks to everyone who has played and voted on the game already, and if you want to check out Mini Architect for yourself, I've left a link in the description. That's everything for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers everyone.